what's going on everybody this is Jaden with how to apple and in this video I want to talk about something we've all been hearing about and that is the coronavirus now of course maybe you don't know this but you can use your iPhone to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus and help prevent yourself from getting it so let me show you how first of all we need to stay informed with everything that's going on um, within the coronavirus and the spread and the outbreak and everything there are two apps that I have that will help you actually one app that I have that will help you um, as far as staying informed I'm sorry there are two things that I have one is an app and one is a website I'm about to show you so the first app is the CDC app um, of course you know Center of Disease Control uh, stuff like that so you have it, I mean right here it talks about the 2019 cor novel coronavirus you can go in there and look up different stuff uh, what to do if you're sick all these kind of things, I mean, it literally starts talking about a whole bunch of coronavirus stuff. Uh, okay, tuberculosis. Anyway, uh, this will be a good little information hub for you um, if you want some articles on the novel coronavirus or COVID-19, whatever they call it now. Um, so that's one thing. That's just a little, for, little information. Another thing that I do like... Oh, I'm already here. So if you go to... Just type in worldometer.info or worldometer for my friend, my coworker that seems to, whatever. Anyway, that will bring you to this website right here. You can go to coronavirus updates, click on that. This will give you a world view of every, no, 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 this is not the world. Okay, yeah, it is actually. So a world view of everything that's actually happening. Um, as you can see right now, there's 338,849, and this is live, so this, this updates whenever they get records. Uh, you see the deaths, you see the recovered, it gives you the active cases, uh, you have 5% that are serious, 95% that are mild, cold, uh, closed cases, you have 13% deaths, like out of the closed cases, so cases that either they were, uh, you know, recovered or discharged and said, hey, you don't have the coronavirus anymore, you completely recover from it, or they die. So only 87%, which I say only 87%, but when you are looking at a death ratio, 13% is a high chance. Now, you know, you can talk about statistics and go into all that if you want, um, about older and all that stuff. But uh, you have total cases, as you can see, it is going up, but you can look at this and go, you know, right with however I'm doing that, <laughs> sliding my finger over it, uh, total deaths. So what's also cool is you can go down to the bottom and look at each country that, you know, that has been reported on or whatever. I'm in the USA, so I'm gonna look at the USA and look at the USA. New cases, 14,550, uh, 550. Obviously, we are not taking this very seriously, America, so, you need to hop on the ball. I know a lot of you guys are young and you're millennials. I'm a millennial and some of y'all are Gen Z, whatever you want to call it. Just because it doesn't affect you does not mean this is a, it doesn't need to be taken seriously. So obviously we playing games anyway, because if you look, other people are serious. We obviously are not. So I'm going to click on USA. And as you can see right here, it'll tell you coronavirus cases, yada, 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 deaths. Uh, look at that. Closed cases in America. 69% deaths. Woo. This is not a game. New York, bruh, New York. Y'all need to quit tripping. Dog, this mess is crazy. So anyway, I know I'm getting a little deep into this website, but I'm just showing you the website so you can look at it. Total deaths, just yesterday. They had 58 deaths. Wow. Um, man, that's crazy. Yeah, now and yesterday. Oh, wait, yesterday. Yeah, wow. So... Yesterday, they only had plus 1,900. Today, it's 12,000. That is crazy. Anyway, so you can look at all that and go into each state, uh, getting the stats for that. However, like I said, this is Worldometers, like right here. <laughs> you can see it, worldometers.info. So check that website out. Um, it is definitely a good information hub. So that's how you can stay informed about the coronavirus, just to keep your awareness and your you know, understanding that this is a threat, keep it in sight. So yeah. So another thing that's important with trying to prevent this virus from spreading is washing your hands and cleaning off hard surfaces. And try turning your uh, stuff on. 
silence. Anyway, so washing your hands and cleaning off hard surfaces, whatever, things that you touch. Um, as well, honestly, there's other tips like drinking hot liquids that will kill the virus in your mouth because apparently it you know, gets in your mouth first and it'll sit in your throat for a few days. Uh, so if you notice any kind of sore throat, you need to make sure you pay attention to that because that could be coronavirus. So anyway, drinking hot waters, whatever, washing clothes, whatever. Anyway, a reminder is probably a good thing to do. So with Siri, oh snap, you gotta be careful saying that word with all my Apple stuff around here. Um, with the reminders app on your iPhone, you can set hourly reminders um, to do certain things. Now, one thing I like to do is I downloaded this Wash Hands app, and it is pretty cool. It actually gives you a reminder tracker, so I can do, uh, actually right here is washing your hands. So if I say I wanna wash my hands for 30 seconds, I can't start, and it'll walk me through how to wash my hands. So for those of you that forgot, or for those of you that just like to rinse your hand off, which I know people that literally just rinse their hand off and walk out and act like their hands are washed. But anyway, um, there we go. You know, back and fingers interlocked, going through it, rub your thumbs, you know what I'm saying? Do you do, do your thing, do your thing. Okay, anyway, so that is that. Now what I like is the reminder. If you click on the little light bulb here at the top right, you can set reminders and uh, frequent notifications so you'll never forget to clean your hands. Turn that on, send notifications every 30 minutes uh, from 9 a.m. until whatever. Let's do every 30 minutes. I can, do, I can do 30 minutes to an hour. If I did 30 minutes, hit done. There we go. Now it is on. Alrighty, so yeah, that's that. Now what I can also do is, like I said, I can go to reminders and <laughs> as you can see, I, I would try to go a little shopping for coronavirus, but um, I can click, I'm just gonna create one right now. Matter of fact, I don't even gotta do that. Let me just hold the Siri button and tell it to remind me every hour. Remind me to wash my hands every hour. Okay, add it. There you go. Boom. So that is gonna do that now. So that's another way to do that with reminders. Now, another cool thing with reminders is setting up location-based reminders. So if you go into, I don't wanna do it right now just because, well, I guess I will. Uh, let's go into settings. You should have, let's see, contacts. My info. Where it says my info right there, go into that and see what your uh, contact information is. I think you can edit it from here, but if you can't, go into your contacts app and edit your contact to put your home address or and your work address in the, uh, you know, in your contacts list or whatever. So what I can do is tell Siri to remind me every time I get home to wash my hands, to clean my doorknob, and whatever, clean off anything I'm bringing in the house. Maybe take off your clothes and put it in the dryer, uh, whatever you wanna do to clean off whatever you've gotten in the air, put some Listerine in your mouth, whatever. You know, how far you wanna go with it. However, location-based reminders is a good thing uh, for this. So I can tell Siri as well to remind me these things when I get home or when I get to work. If you still gotta go to work, this is a good thing for you to do. You know, whatever. So I can say, remind me to throw my clothes in the dryer when I get home. Okay, add it. And it says, arriving Jaden Bryant's home. So as you see, because I have my information uh, updated on here, that's why I'm able to do that. So that is another cool thing when it comes to uh, location based and this is something that can really really help out with um, you know keeping us clean and not spreading this because old people really do matter but if you have any infants I've heard a report already that there is an infant that has coronavirus so there probably are a few so be careful so another cool way to use your iPhone to help prevent this uh, spread of coronavirus is of course you need to stay at home um, and to stay at home, you still want what's called social distancing. Ugh. Social distancing is what they're calling it now. So because of social distancing, I mean, if people can date online, I'm sure you can talk to your friends online. So of course we have iMessage. Uh, you have iMessage. Matter of fact, you have all of your social media apps um, that you can use to 
Uh, communicate with your friends, send videos, have fun, get up there, chill, talk, whatever. Go live, watch somebody else's live stream, whatever you want to do. Uh, but one thing that's cool also is, of course, we now have group FaceTime. So, and as you see, I don't really use FaceTime very often, but <laughs> uh, you do have group FaceTime. So remember, you can go into the FaceTime app, hit the add button, and I can type in, let's say I want to call my buddy Mike, I want to call uh, my wife, I can call, uh, I don't even know to be honest, um, mm, who else is there to call, let's, let's Zach, dude, which doesn't seem to have an iPhone, oh yeah, okay, there we go, um, so I can do up to 32 people on group FaceTime, so this is a cool way, you're going to hit audio, I can do audio or video, and have video calls. Now, if you have an iPad, of course, this is better because you have more screen real estate to see everybody's uh, faces. But, yeah, so you have group FaceTime. Uh, so, you also have, like, podcasts, you got Twitch, you got YouTube, you got Twitter, you got Snapchat, you got all kinds of stuff, and, of course, you got Safari to... Uh, watch anything else you want to watch um, in private mode. But anyway, so yeah, that's another way that you can also use your iPhone to help prevent the spread of coronavirus by staying at home and communicating with everybody through your telephone, which most of us are already doing anyway, and using it for entertainment purposes. So, so guys, there you have it. That is how you can use your iPhone or your whatever other phone you have, but the only really one that matters is the iPhone. But that is how you can use your iPhone to help prevent the spread of 2000, I'm sorry, <laughs> the spread of COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, to help protect because this, as, as you saw with that wordometer uh, website, it is spreading quite fast. So anyway, give this video a like, leave a comment below if you have any kind of suggestions or anything that, that could also offer people, you know, help them stay safe and whatever, how they can use their iPhone or whatever else device. But leave a comment below, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel so you can learn how to apple without the E.